What's the deal, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Vile Told You, man. Today we got some new exciting information for 100 Hunter Nan Impact. We got uh Miriam gameplay, the Chimera Ant King. We got the full roster reveal and a new hype trailer as well, man. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Yo. Alright, boom. So let's get a peep at the trailer. Then we'll double back and peek some things. Uh so oh, my fault. This is not even a trailer. This is the opening, uh the opening movie, the opening uh cinematic to the game. Uh, so when you first load up, you know what I mean? Like every anime game has one of these, or they should have one at least, but was that kite? That was kite. So first look at, oh no, this is the entire, okay, yeah, yeah, So they put the entire roster in here. The fact that they releasing this, like the opening to the game, um, before, I feel like this game probably about to come out soon, bro. I don't know. We'll get a release date before Evo is after. Uh, before Evo is over with. But I feel like this game could be out within the next two months. I'm not gonna hold you. I can see this game September, Octoberish, like being ready on the streets. They did. They definitely did that thing with the opening, though. I'm not gonna lie. They definitely did that thing with the opening because this this give me hype. This would give me hype to play the game. Like if I was loading up, that frame was crazy. If I was loading up, getting ready to play the game, and this came out, I probably watch this. Probably watch this like 60 of the time. You know what I mean? Probably like till for like the first year of me playing the game till it get old. But like, they got the right music in there. You feel me? Animations look clean, Chris. Coming 2024, still no release date. I get it, I get it. Let's double back one more time. Um, I think we got the official, like, final 16 characters confirmed in this trailer. I didn't see Pito. I didn't see Illumi, so I'm a little hurt to keep it a buck with y'all. I feel like they dropped the ball there, but I'll get into that in a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Damn, yep. They ain't make the cut. They ain't make the cut. And maybe that's on us. We wasn't pushing hard enough, I guess. But I feel like they had their minds made up. So it goes to like anime style cutscenes and then it go back to like kind of like game animation um, cutscenes. But I think some of this stuff is specific towards the game. And I don't know if they pulled it from story mode or what, but. It look clean nonetheless. I like stuff like this. Give me some death in the game. Give me some um. Don't just put a 2D fighter in front of my face, man. And just, you know, force me to play it. Like, give me, you feel me? Give me hype for it. I'm glad Kite was in there, bro. I feel like Kite, you know what? Hold on, bro. That little image right there. We got Hisoka versus Krolo. Yeah, they really just threw everybody in there for real. This frame is crazy right here. I ain't gonna lie. This frame is tough, bro. No, nah, they did their thing, bro. They did their thing for the opening. I'm not gonna hold you. Um, so yeah, this is the opening. All the characters are here. All the characters are revealed. Like I said earlier, I feel like the fact we get in the opening to the game, they have uh, officially confirmed all the characters that are gonna be available day one. Yeah, I can see this game dropping pretty soon. I'm surprised we don't have a release date already with the amount of content they've been putting out. Like every week they've been dropping like at least one or two character reveal trailers. And we actually got the um the Miriam. Is it Miriam? Is that how you pronounce his name? The Chimera Ant King. We got his gameplay reveal trailer. So let's take a look at that real quick. All right. So I want to say this is story mode specific load up because we don't have like character to character specific dialogue with unique animations or at least we haven't seen those yet. Like in the terms of like before the match starts, you usually see the whole team and the camera panels back and forth between team to team. So I want to say that's pulled from the story mode. This is gameplay, it's auto combos at use. He looked kind of slow. Well, I guess not if you thought that. I was gonna say he looked kind of slow at first. That being probably go full screen if I had to guess. Okay, movement decent. It's the level three. That can't be it. That can't be the level three. That can't be the all, whatever you want to call it. The the big nan bang, whatever you want to. That can't be it, bro. 
that was and that's my problem the only concern i've been saying about this game bro these level threes or these ultimates or these big final nin attacks or nin all be all bro they just not hitting bro from the ones i've seen now this could be cut in half or this could be a level two but since they shown at the end of the trailer like they have been with all the character gameplay reveal trailers bro i'm assuming this is his level three this is his ultimate bro and this is beyond mid flash step one swipe that is beyond me, bro. And we keeping it a buck. Now, I'm so glad this character's in the game. I'm glad they went into that art. I kind of had a feeling they was going to go into the Chimera art because we seen a dog gone early on. And that'd be weird to have that transformation and not have no other type of material from that art in the game. Um, so now we got the final reveal. We getting Chimera and art stuff. Um, that that ultimate, bro, You is no defending that, though. I'm not going to hold you. There's nothing that gets me excited. And maybe I'm just, I guess that's not a thing, but I play other 2D fighters for like the ultimate sort of level threes. Like they had some umph in them and they made you feel good about hitting them. That does not do it for me. Just me, just my opinion, just my take personally, bro. Uh, I'm sure a lot of y'all are fine with it. It's not that big of a deal, but that was uh, supremely mid in my opinion. Now let's talk about the roster. So let's talk about the roster a little bit, right? Um, So boom, all 16 characters, we counted them out. The two that I kind of wanted to see, or I was expecting to see, were Nefer, Pito, um, the nice Khmer, and who killed Kite, and got uh, packed by Gong at the end of the series, or close to the end of the series, or the end of that arc, and um, Illumi, um, Kilua's older brother. I was hoping those would be in there. Those are like fan favorites. A lot of y'all in my comments been saying y'all hoping for Illumi, and I kind of wanted them in there too. He's a cool character. They went a different route. They did not decide to put those characters in the game. Now, Illumi, not as much. I kind of get that. I understand that. That was kind of more like a just a fan hopeful. You know what I mean? Maybe a little bit of a reach because we didn't see him just do like a lot of specific fighting. I mean, he had his moments in the show, but he didn't have like a big fight scene or anything like that. Um, now, Pito, um, it's crazy she's not in this game. If you, Especially on the fact that you have a Dark Gones transformation which he used for the first time when fighting her and that still kind of give me some hope she's somewhere in these files somewhere dlc i don't know bro she got to be somewhere in there because how do you pull that off and not have her in the game crazy and that she killed kite who kite is in the game she gotta be right it only makes sense now the roster size was only for 16 they showed 16 characters Maybe they fucking with us. Is this our okay? I didn't know Kilo. That guy speed transformation. I'm looking at the game, but this is new gameplay footage here too. Um, so I guess that stays on for a little bit. Actually, let me go back to that because I wasn't paying attention, but I kind of peeked it at the end there. So boom, Kilo comes in, hits his level three. This is actually one of the more decent ones. This is one I'm, I, I guess I'm cool with that. But he stays in his guy speed mode. He's kind of like all over the place. Oh, that looks annoying to fight. It's only for a split second though, not that long. It didn't last that long. Long enough to get the kill though. But like I was saying, yeah, I feel like they dropped the ball on that. They probably fumbled the bag on not having Pito in this game. Um, that's just my opinion. Y'all let me know in the comments, bro. What characters do y'all feel like they missed out on or y'all are shocked to see them in the game? Me personally, the Greed Island arc. Now I get that they put those characters in there. I'm talking about Bomber and I'm talking about Razor. Uh, I think Bomber's name is Ginthro or something like that, but I just call him Bomber. The two characters from the Great Island arc, they could have kept them. If we keep them in a the buck, they could have kept them, man. And just gave us Pito and Illumi if they really wanted to make this a banger. Not saying it won't be a banger, but like, that was the full level three from the Ad King. Yeah. yeah. Wait, no, that wasn't level three. That wasn't level three. We saved. Hold on. Oh, wait. He had five. He had five. That might have been his fucking level three, bro. That might have been. I didn't even know the bars went up to five. Get into his combo. Boom. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah, now he has two. That was the level three. Ah, oh, yeah. This is the full. Yeah, yeah. It's not cut. Unfortunately, that is the full level three. And it is mid. Look, like it did a lot of damage, though. Um, but like I was saying, they could have kept the green line characters, Razor and the Bomber, and just gave us those two. And I would have been perfectly fine with that. But you got to throw them in there for, you know, sake of the story. And they going in the chrono chronological timeline order. Um, it is what it is at the end of the day. I'm not sure what DLC was looking like. They haven't mentioned any word of DLC or pre-order bonus or nothing like that for this game. 
so I will just have to wait and see what other characters get added if any other characters get added and things like that but yeah I would like to know what characters y'all think they dropped the ball on or not including in this game on the on release roster and what characters that y'all would like to see them take out man uh, I'm glad Clyde, I'm glad Kite made it to the roster though I had a feeling he would but um, I like his net ability a lot and I think that could be I can't wait to see some gameplay with Kite because I feel like he could be all over the place with the amount of different weapons he could switch to and things like that. So I hope they do him right and I hope he's a fun character to play. But yeah, I think this game could be out really soon with the amount of gameplay we getting. The fact that they announced or they released the opening cinematic for the game. I don't see us making it past October without this game being released. And I know that's kind of weird because the Sparking Zero releases in October. So it's like, do they really want to go down that path? You feel me? But it's you know what i mean i guess it's a different genre so really if you like 2d fighters then boom you got your 100 100 if you like arena fighters then you got sparking zero mm. so i guess it's the best of both worlds you can't really lose in that scenario but yeah i'll be shocked if we get past october and this game has not been released y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments that's it for today though man hopefully we get a release date by the time evo is over we will see but until then i catch y'all next time let's get it yo